Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some resin crystal clusters. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be pouring these two molds on the left here. I went ahead and sprayed the molds with a little 91% isopropyl alcohol. That will prevent bubbles from clinging down in the crystal points of your mold. I filled the molds up halfway with some light purple tinted resin. And here I'm just going in with a toothpick very carefully dislodging a few bubbles I had. Um, in the mold and now I'm going to sprinkle on some of my iridescent magnolia sparkle mylar glitter You can get this from my Etsy shop. I'll link it down below and that's going to be it for layer number one Super easy to make these. I'm going to let them cure overnight. Here we are the next day I'm going to be filling the molds up with some black tinted resin and to make my black I actually used this black pearl mica powder from Laura's art corner and some black alcohol ink I like to mix those two together to kind of give me a nice deep black. I'm going to fill up the molds all the way and I am going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and you're going to see all the bubbles are going to pool to the center of the mold which is kind of nice um, with the liquid diamonds it does that so you can go in and just scoop the bubbles out with your stir stick like this or you could go even go in with your gloved finger just touch the bubbles and they pop really easily. I did go ahead and mix up my liquid diamonds off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my liquid diamonds, I'll link one of my videos down below. It's a short one minute video, and in that video I show you step by step how to mix your liquid diamonds. I'm just going to finish popping these few bubbles, and that's it. Let it cure overnight, and then we'll be ready to demold them. Here we are 24 hours later and I actually made my molds or these molds myself a while back. I used real amethyst stones to make these molds. So if you haven't seen those videos, definitely go check them out. I'll link them down below as well. I show you step by step how to make your own molds and the beautiful sparkle from those amethysts transfers to the silicone mold and then it will transfer to your resin creations. And you might be thinking, Tish, you just made these a while back, but in that video, I actually used purple glitter for the second layer. And on these, I wanted to see what it looked like if I used black, just a plain black. And I think it turned out really pretty. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.